Hello everyone. I've got uh, some new findings here with the Bitoroid technology. I'm able now to read uh, DC output through a full wave bridge rectifier and uh, I've got these uh, bulbs as a load. Um, just wanted to use a really high efficiency load and uh, see if it was even reading anything and uh, <laughs> we'll get to that later so I've got uh, 100 nanos uh, uh, on Thanes we didn't actually see him use any uh, tuning capacitors but uh, any any coil uh, and frequency can do better with uh, resonant uh, tuning so uh, 100 nanos on the 29.5 uh, primary um, micro milli henry in, uh, primary and I've got uh, a range of frequencies I'm gonna uh, go through with uh, and show you guys right now it's at 30 uh, 30 Hertz I don't know if you can see that flashing I deliberately did it so that you could see flashing um, We'll start in conventional transformer mode using just the one secondary and uh, show you the performance we can get. So right now at about 30 hertz um, we're uh, making a little bit of waves but nothing major. So I'm going to turn it up. until. It's about the best performance I can get. So that's about six kilohertz. I've got it tuned for about uh, 2.93 and they look like they're pretty much even and uh, that's you know kind of what you'd assume with uh, any sort of device that you couldn't get more out than uh, you were putting in unless there was some sort of external force in play which uh, was entering or giving you energy in the system. So I'm going to try putting this uh, resistor as a load on the next secondary. Let's see what happens. Pretty interesting. I'll take off the other secondary. Because there's no way you could make the secondary brighter than the primary, right? <laughs> One ohm. Take it back off, and we're back to what I would say unity. And this would be something else. Interestingly enough, the uh, resonant circuit takes effect, and uh, the bulb on the primary goes right out, indicating that less current is flowing than before. I'm going to go through some more frequencies here. It's tuned for 2.93 right now, but uh, I'll just go down. I'll take this off again. That's cheating. <laughs> Turn it back down. I got some brightness there. 
Let's see what happens when we put the load back on there. Ooh, still brighter. Brighter than the brightest. Okay. Back down. Back to 30 hertz. And turn it down even more. So it's cool how they're showing like it's out of phase. They're not blinking at the same time. So when the primary square wave fires or cuts off, whatever, uh, seems like the secondary turns on then. So with the resistor, what happens? Nothing really noticeable. Put in this other bulb. Oops. So now I'll turn it back up. Actually, I wanted to show you uh, what was happening without this. And then add it. Trying to make them even. So that's conventional transformer mode. And I'll add the second bulb. Nothing got dim. Except for... Primary. <laughs> This is what I've got it tuned for. Go a little bit above. Those are pretty bright. Take off second load. Hmm. Pretty interesting. <coughs> so I think you guys <coughs> I think you guys get the picture with what's happening on the primary and the secondary. You can see that uh, a lot of currents flowing in the primary pretty much the same as the secondary. And we'll go into biotoroid mode. Loving it. I'll be back with uh Actually, I can probably fit it on the same video. I'm going to turn off the signal gen now. Move some stuff around.
I got a bad wire in here somewhere, but uh, shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, and by the way, I've got 17 nanos on either secondary. I gotta get all these little LEDs out of here or they'll explode. I go through too many LEDs. So we're starting at zero, we're not cheating. Looks like almost half an amp coming out. Lighting 12 watts. Running on 12 volt battery. At half an amp or less and call that just under six watts in pretty much half an amp coming out 450 milliamps but here's where the kicker is we got 35 volts across our bulbs so we're not even uh... okay so here's off the secondary load or second uh... <laughs> second secondary off back on oops wrong hole <laughs> So, not much current coming out without the other secondary. Conventional mode by toroid mode. Look at the primary as that's happening. So I think it's acting, uh, I'm just going to play around now with the frequency. It seems about the best. Half an amp, 
12 volts. Half an amp. 34 volts. You guys can do the math. That is impressive. One of these is so bright. You can light up the uh, whole ceiling here. Turn it off. Back on. Have a good day.